Welcome to a code report solution video. In this video, we're going to be solving a single problem in C++ 11, 17, 20, and 23. So one problem, four C++ pluses, and this came about because actually I was preparing to make a video solving this same problem in array languages, but then I wanted to solve it in C++ to see what it would look like, and we ended up here on Twitter being sad about C++. So before we get ahead of ourselves, let's take a look at the problem. It's called maximum prime difference. It's the second leak code problem from the most recent weekly leak code contest, depending on when you're watching this video. Link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. It says you're given an integer array nums, return an integer that is the maximum distance between the indices of two not necessarily different prime numbers in nums. And you're given a example case, 42953. The primes here are two, five, and three. The indices of these are, if you're using a zero index language or one index language, it really doesn't matter for this problem, it would be one, three, and four. And therefore, you basically just wanna look at the first prime and the last prime and take the difference between those two, which is gonna end up being three, as this explanation explains. And then they give you a second example. And the reason that I wanted to do this was in C++ on top of the array languages, I'll cover that in a follow-up video, is because of the restraints of this problem. You're told that the values of the numbers are gonna be between one and 100, so you've only actually got like 25 primes that you need to worry about. And the length of the list is gonna be at the largest 300,000. And what that means is that you need to have an efficient way of finding these primes. The way that we're gonna look at is just storing these primes in a std array. But in the array languages, I don't really do, do this. And so I figured I was gonna get a number of complaints. And then I went and took a look at C++ because I knew that they added a C++ 23 algorithm called find last if, which only exists in the most recent C++ standard. And with that, on top of find if, you basically have two different algorithms to find the first prime, the last prime. I thought it was gonna be quite nice, but then I ended up being disappointed. So let's hop over to our C++ solutions, and we'll start with C++ 11 and then work our way up. So this is our C++ 11 solution, and they're going to get nicer from here. So we're storing our 25 primes in a std array, and note that we don't have ctad yet, compile time, template, argument, deduction, until C++17, so you need to specify both the type and the number of values in our std array. And then we're gonna create a little convenience function called isPrime, and we once again don't have our range algorithms until C++20, so we have to specify the begin and end iterator. And then we have our actual solution which is two calls to find if, one with normal iterators, one with reverse iterators, and in order to be able to call std distance to get the distance between these two iterators, we need to convert our reverse iterator into a normal iterator, which you do by calling the dot base method. And then you have to do a minus one adjustment due to the fact that we're using reverse iterators here. So overall, pretty nice, could be nicer. Let's see how, if we move to C++ 17, the only thing really that we're gonna be able to do is to make use of ctad, and that means we don't need to specify the type of our array or the length, which is quite nice. And then we move to C++ 20, where we get a bunch of goodies. So the first thing that we're gonna get is our range algorithm, so we no longer need to specify the iterators begin and end for each of our containers. So this is primes, nums, and nums which is quite nice. Another thing we can do is we can replace our const reference to a vector with a std span. That's a bit more modern. And then on top of this now, because we're not using iterators, we need to figure out a way to get the last prime. And we don't have the algorithm find last if until C++23. Remember, we're on C++20 right now. And therefore, what we can do is we can just pipe our nums to the view reverse and then calling the dot base works. I wasn't actually sure that that was going to work, but it seems to. And this is using C++20, so quite nice. Note that we also added const expert to our is prime function because the algorithms in the range namespace, and I believe actually retrospectively in the std namespace for the non-range algorithms, 
are all const expr, which is quite nice. In these examples, it doesn't really matter, but if you were to pass an integer to is prime, all of that calculation would happen at compile time, which is quite nice. And finally, moving on to C++23, the most modern of these C++'s, we get access to our algorithm find last if, and this is what I was hoping would work. However, it does not. You get a compile time error that says there is no overload to std distance that works for this. And after a while, I figured out that what it's complaining about is the fact that find if and find last if have two different return types. I thought that both of these returned iterators, but only find if returns an iterator. Find last if returns a subrange. And in order to get an iterator from your subrange, you have to call the begin method to extract out that iterator. This is pretty awful in my opinion. One, because of the asymmetry. I think definitely these are sibling algorithms and they should have the same return types. But also because find last if isn't really, if it's returning a subrange, it's not really a find if in my opinion. Find if is an algorithm that returns a single thing, not a collection or a subrange of things. Uh, find last if, or even find if, if it were to return a subrange, is really the equivalent of drop while, or in the, cas in the case of find last if, a reverse drop while, while you're dropping something while you haven't found what you're looking for. So overall, pretty disappointing. Like I said in the tweet, it saddens me quite a bit, the asymmetry between these two. Anyways, to recap, this C23 solution using a couple different features, C17 CTAD, C20's range algorithms, C20 stud span, and the new C23 range algorithm find last if. However, returns a subrange. Wah wah. Anyway, stay tuned. Probably in a couple days, I will release a follow up video to this, which solves this problem in the different array languages. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section down below, and we will see you in the next video.